Next step is to write the code. Let's head over to our command line and make sure that we have the most up-to-date version of our Git repo. Once we've verified we have the most up-to-date version, we'll change directory into our package. Because we're going to be making new feature additions, we'll be changing, adding changes to account linking, we'll check out a new branch by running git checkout hyphen b, and we'll label this branch feature forward slash account hyphen linking. You'll see that we've switched to a new branch now. Let's make our changes. Go into your app folder in the app.js file. Inside of our launch function, we want to set an if statement to check if a user has already signed in with their account. We can check by saying this.getAccessToken. If a customer does not have an access token yet, and they have a Google action, we want to show them the account linking card. That way they can sign in with their authorization of choice. Because Jovo builds out both Alexa and Google Assistant, we want to make sure that this function of showing the account linking card for Google only happens if the device that's using this is a Google device. So we'll set up an if statement where we get the type and if they're not an Alexa skill, we can assume that they're going to be a Google action. Let's paste our show account linking card there. Once that bit's added, we can see that we don't have a sign-in intent yet. That's the next thing we'll need to add. Head back over to your app.js file, and before the launch function, we're going to add an on sign-in function. This is a built-in function handler from Jovo. So on sign in, colon, then we'll write function with open close parentheses and then open close curly brackets. At the end of this intent, be sure to put a comma so that way our Jovo function can still run. Inside of the on sign in, we'll have a couple if statements. The first if statement will say if this.googleaction.get sign in status is equal to canceled. This means that a customer canceled before they finished signing in on their account. If a customer canceled, uh, that's one option. The next option is, is going to be OK. So we'll copy the same line for our if statement and paste it in. The only thing that's going to change is canceled, which we will change to say OK. The final else is going to additionally be an if. And inside of there, we'll paste the same function. This time, we'll change canceled to say error. This is what happens if a customer runs into an error while they're trying to link their account. This covers everything. If a customer cancels while they're linking their account, we can give them one specific response. If they have account linking go successfully, we can have a different response. And if they run into an error, we can give a third response. This is all pertaining strictly to account linking. Add in a few responses. Inside of the first if statement, be sure to give a response that helps customers out if they cancel to help guide them to what they, their next step is. Inside of OK, just confirm that they've signed in. And if they have an error, provide them some guidance, telling them that there was an error, and then helping them figure out how they can navigate around the error. Once we've added all those in, we can run our Jovo server and then we can test it on our application. Because the Google simulator does not allow for account linking sign-in, what we need to do is test it on our mobile devices. Be sure on your Google device that you're signed in to the same account that the Google action was set up on. And then launching Google Assistant on your phone, say, talk to my test app, where you can see that you can log in using either Google, Facebook, Twitter, or GitHub. Congratulations, you have now added account linking to your Google Action and you can try it on any of your Google enabled devices.